Hello, I'm Jeffrey Tennant. Trading is closed on April 20th, 2015. My last call was that we should have a rally pretty much right from the open, and that worked. We had a number of targets in the 2084 plus area, and the market made short work of those numbers. During the day, we had a sell signal in the afternoon, which was already satisfied. We stopped pretty much right on the target. There's an ultimate sell signal from the morning. It hasn't been satisfied yet. It gives us a target of 2097.17. That really is not too far under where we closed. And just because it's a target, and usually we don't have to wait too long to see it, it doesn't preclude higher prices first, and it doesn't really have to print tomorrow. There are some negatives in the pattern. It's not good when the market rallies like this and the volume drops. It's not good when after rallying all day long, uh, we close under the initial high, not to mention the high of the day coming too early in the day. But all that negativity would be removed if we had a gap up over this high. When I started working on this, we were in the red, and I was going to say it wouldn't surprise me if we had a gap over this high. Now I see futures are already up. There is a pattern here which has a tendency to have a gap up on days like this, no matter how negative other things look, but it's not required. Even if this counts completely wrong, the market's supposed to move in legs of three and five waves. I can't come up with any count where three or five waves are completed with this move. It implies we should have at least one more move up most likely to the higher prices I discussed over the weekend. If we do have a drop first, which is always possible, recall that this bar 13 of a buy signal on the 130 minute chart finished early. And even if we drop, it's going to be bar 13 not finishing early. And if the signal works, it should be followed by higher prices. So the call for tomorrow is we have slightly lower prices coming at some time, possibly, but not necessarily tomorrow. I don't think that the rally is over. And if we had a gap over today's high, even though it's not required, it wouldn't surprise me. And that's today's call.